Hey, I wanted, while I'm driving, I want to take a quick second to talk to you guys about piling caps. I get a ton of questions about piling caps, what types to use, what options they have, etc. So I just want to make this video to go over them all real quick. So with pilings, you have uh, basically two main types of caps. You have cone style caps and flat caps. The cone style caps are what you most typically see. It's a little cone on top. They come in white or black, or you have a flat one uh, that's just exactly, like I said, it's exactly flat on top and those come white or black also. Those are the two most common types and two most common colors. Now, the perks of the cone ones are gonna be that birds don't perch on them as much. They, in my opinion, they look nicer too. They look nicer, birds aren't gonna perch on them, so you're not gonna have stains on your deck, etc., etc. The flat piling caps are used here and there, but they're mainly really for um, going underneath like boat lift beams, or if you're gonna put a uh, accessory on top of the pile or a light on top of the pile or something like that, then you have to have that flat surface to be able to sit that on there. But other than that, you don't really see black, uh, sorry, flat piling caps used all that often. So with that being said, the other option that you have is uh, colors. So talking flat or cone, and then colors black or white. Black is the most common across the board. You see more black than anything. My personal preference, I like white better. I think they look better right out of the gate. The only problem that I hear a lot of times with the white piling caps is after years they do get like a little black stain on them they get a little mildewy a little moldy so they don't look great long term whereas the black looks a lot better long term so those are going to be your standard piling caps now if you want to go above and beyond that you have a couple different options too so the other one which you don't see a whole lot in the keys but you see a lot on the west and east coast of florida is copper piling caps they have actually preformed cone copper piling caps, preformed flat popper, copper piling caps, and then they also have uh, where people take flashing and they cut it with tin cutters, they bend it, and it's a flat piling cap, but it's got a cool layered angled look on them. Those are obviously very expensive, they're all copper. But the other thing people a lot of, like a lot about them is when they get uh, tarnished, they turn into a cool, like rustic, oxidized green color. So those are pretty neat, a lot of people like those. And then lastly, you're gonna have the highest, highest end type of piling cap, which is gonna be a lighted piling cap. Now, I'm not talking about uh, a solar piling cap or a piling cap with like a little solar light on it. I'm talking about a piling cap that actually has a light inside of it that shines down. Those are super cool. They sit on top of the pile, they have a light inside, they shine straight down. The only thing you gotta note, or that's noteworthy with those, is because they have that light inside of the rim they are going to be oversized so if you have a 12 inch pile you actually have to order those in 13 or 13 and a half inches to make room for the light so the issue that you have with that is they look kind of weird because it looks like a like a hat that's too big sitting on top of the pile because you have that gap all the way around for the light to shine through now what i like to do to combat that especially if you have a pvc or an hcp deck like you have colored deck boards what you can do is use that one inch overhang on each side and you can get these strips of deck boards. So they make whatever deck board you have for your color, let's say it's antique mahogany of tan deck, whatever manufacturer it is. What they make is they make one inch wide by one inch thick little strips of decking and you can screw those into your pile vertically up and down around the entire pile. And then the lighted piling cap, because there's an inch gap on each side, sits over top of there. Not only does that make it snug, because they don't go inside of it, they get cut and then the piling cap sits down on top of it. So they get cut, you have that gap, so now it makes it look flush straight up and down. And then when you do the strips, you leave like a half inch to a half inch spacing between each strip. And that allows the light to shine down straight through those gaps. And it gives it a super, super nice look at night. Uh, they are very expensive. Those are gonna run you about $150 per piling cap and they do have to be hardwired. I see a lot of people try to use solar piling caps. A lot of people ask, hey Trent, can I use a solar piling cap? You can, there's a lot on the market, but they're always very dim. They don't last a long time. Even if the light is on, it's really crummy looking. It's not powered enough in my opinion. So I wouldn't recommend going with solar piling cap. At that point, I would do a regular piling cap and maybe put a light on the side of the pile. They're gonna to wanna to go with the actual hardwired piling cap. If you guys have any questions about piling caps or anything else, accessories on docks, feel free to reach out to me. I can give you uh, sources to go buy them from, websites, manufacturers, whatever, give you my opinion. And yeah, love to hear from you. Thank you, bye.